Business transformation focused on productivity improvement isn't enough these days. Because in this disruptive era, established business models are under attack. And executing the same old business models isn't enough. While there's nothing wrong with productivity improvement, leaders shouldn't delude themselves into thinking that this type of transformation will protect them and secure their company a place in the latter part of this decade and beyond. And yet this is the nature of what many companies are doing when it comes to transformation. Executives need to understand the profound changes required to succeed. As the way people and organizations work becomes more influenced and dependent upon emerging technologies. Reflect on what Netflix, Alibaba, Intuit and Amazon have done and ask how is our transformation reinventing our business? And be honest about whether your transformation is truly innovative and creating a new future without the constraints of the past or whether it consists of nothing more than small change and digital sugarcoating which only creates the illusion of transformation. Established organizations tend to struggle with a kind of innovation required for legitimate transformation. Even just recognizing the possibilities are completely off the radar for some leaders who are so enshrined in their orthodox ways of doing business that they dismiss any notions of doing things differently as ludicrous. It's precisely this antiquated mindset that's leading some companies to the corporate graveyard. But by reframing their old beliefs about how to do business, bold forward-thinking leaders can disrupt their mindsets and their traditional ways of doing business. Once you've agreed to shift your mindset, break down the dominant business models in your industry and analyze the old beliefs that have allowed them to thrive. Turn those old beliefs upside down and think of a radical new theory, one that many of your peers might possibly dismiss as crazy. Determine whether your new theory has already been used in another industry. Then translate your new theory into a potential new business model. Regardless of how you set about developing new business models, you first need the right mindset and be prepared to let go of the past. Then focus on your purpose, mission, people and culture. Then your new business model opportunities. What's your advice for leaders who are prepared to explore new business models?